The big, the big story we're tracking this evening, news from Mumbai, where protests were reported outside actor Salman Khan's Bandra residence. The protest was organized by members of a Tamil group who claim the actor has been campaigning for Sri Lankan President Mahinda Rajapaksa for the upcoming presidential elections in the country. Sources say Khan along with Sri Lankan born Jacqueline Fernandez and five other Bollywood stars were roped in to campaign for Rajapaksa in the upcoming presidential polls. Salman though has denied these reports saying he was in Colombo for a charity event. Rajapakse is under fire from political parties in Tamil Nadu as he was at the helm of affairs in 2009 when civilian casualties in Tamil dominated areas peaked during the civil war. <laughs> उन्होंने कभी हमारा तमिलियन के बारे में सोचा नहीं है आज ये आज ये मुंबई में उनकी जो भी पिक्चर चलती है हमारा तमिलियन सब लोग जाके उनका फैन है लेकिन हमारा दिल तुका के उन्होंने इतना सारा बढ़िया राजपक्ष के साथ मिलकर के ये सब किया है बहुत गलत है well, protests outside Salman Khan's house justified. Let's take that question to our panel of guests this e evening. Uh, politician and uh, actress Nagma is with us live from Mumbai. Also with us, uh, Suman C. Raman, political analyst from Chennai. I want to come to you first, uh, Mr. Raman. Do you think these protests are justified? Oh, absolutely justified. Look, uh, I know that Salman has uh, denied actually having gone on campaign, but it, but it has been widely reported that uh, he did uh, go there for uh, supporting President Rajapaksa uh, in uh, in the uh, forthcoming uh, elections in Sri Lanka. Look, there are just this is a very very simple issue. Now, there's there's been a mass civilian, uh, whether you use the word genocide or mass civilian casualties, which have happened in the final phase of the war. Not all those people who died were LTTE cadre. Many of them were innocent women and children. And this has caused a, a significant amount of uh, grievance to the people of, of your own, one of your own states in your country. Right, so but Mr. Raman, frankly, at the end of the day, India and Sri Lanka have good relations. What's wrong with an actor, if an actor from Bollywood goes excuse and me, campaigns? Excuse me, the, No, 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 sorry, sorry. Having government to government relations is totally different. If the government of India engages the government of Sri Lanka in a constructive dialogue to improve the lot of the, fish, of the fishermen or of the Sri Lankan Tamils, that is perfectly justified. Campaigning for a man who has been accused of war crimes and a genocide is completely different. You please do not equate relationship between the government of India and the government of Sri Lanka headed by President Rajapaksa. Salman Khan has not gone to campaign for the President of Sri Lanka. He has gone to campaign for a candidate, okay, and a candidate who has been accused of war crimes. The two are entirely different and I don't think you can equate the two at all. All right, Mr. Salman, I'm going to come back to you. Uh, Nagma, your response to this story? Well, I'd like to say that although our country has been known uh, world over for unity in its diversity, and I think that, uh, you know, we live in a democratic country. So while we, any individual does have uh, his right for freedom of expression, having said that, I think when the sentiments of so many people are hurt, one should take that into consideration as well. So knowing uh, Salman having been so free spirited and whatever he does, I mean, he doesn't belong to a particular party or is not a member of a particular party he's always been seen campaigning like even when the uh, congress was in power he had gone to uh, uh, you know perform in the sefa and gone uh, and done all those kind of things so uh, probably he could have gone and congratulated him um, after he won or something like that i think it's also his actors uh, worked in, in the movie also a lot of industry is shooting there in uh, uh, in sri lanka so there uh, there should be that uh, uh, difference of opinion also that diversity that di diversified opinion should also be welcomed in a way I mean like some people would be sensitive to an issue while others wo uh, are not like uh, the PM had invited uh, you know him for the swearing in for his swearing in ceremony so um, I think everybody does have a uh, does have a uh, you know view of their own and if somebody um, I personally feel that he should have taken this into consideration 
uh, you know for the fact that he hadn't uh, commented on the pretty and ness uh, you know thing or whatever because it's getting into the uh, political scenario of uh, a country is another ball game altogether so uh, you know, yet he does have a right to hold his own I opinion and be. Absolutely, Mr. Ramu, we like uh, to respond to that. If, if Prime Minister Mr. Mr. Modi can invite Rajapaksa to his wedding in ceremony, why can't an individual artist campaign for him? Okay, let me ask. I am not asking Salman Khan this question. I am asking the people who are watching this program and the country a very, very simple question. If the people who had been killed in Sri Lanka in the final phases of the war were, let's say, from Mumbai or let us say they were Hindi speaking people. I am not making, I don't mean to sound chauvinistic at all. Or let us say they were part of his audience. Do you think that Salman Khan would have gone and campaigned? I just want the people to contemplate this particular question. It is not, of course an individual has a freedom of, uh, of expression and he is free to go and do whatever he wants. That is a different issue altogether. And you can no, not equate Prime Minister Modi inviting President Rajapaksa. That is a government to government relationship. India must talk to Sri Lanka, despite whatever has happened. India must engage in a constructive dialogue. That's the only way we are going to improve the lives of those uh, the Tamils in Sri Lanka and all communities. And that's the way we are going to solve the fishermen's problem. So, Prime Minister Modi inviting President Rajapaksa for talks has got absolutely nothing to do with a political campaign. A political campaign is saying, it's still the same I individual. endorse it's still your the same political individual. views. It is not. It, it may be. It, it may be. This, it is not the same individual. President Rajapaksa represents the people of Sri Lanka. Represents the Sri Lankan state. Candidate Rajapaksa represents his political party and his beliefs and political views. I am sorry, the two are not the same. If Salman Khan had been invited by the government of Sri Lanka and he had gone there, that is still excusable. Saying that he would go and campaign for uh, for a. a, a, a politician at that point of time he's a candidate he's not the, he's not going and campaigning for the president obviously so you cannot equate the two and i'm sorry i just want to i just i look he has denied it so if, if if it's not true then well and good but if it is true let the people who are watching this show make up their minds if this was if what had happened in sri lanka involved people who spoke his language people who potentially were his audience would he have gone ahead and done it Mr. Raman, in the run-up to the Lok Sabha poll, Salman Khan had also campaigned for Prime Minister Modi. Do you think that was out of line too, considering that there were a lot of people who were opposing his, uh, his, his candidature to the Prime Minister's post? Look, the two cases are completely different. Prime Minister Modi has been exonerated by the court and by the inquiry uh, which, uh, uh, which was headed by Mr. R.K. Raghavan. And there are, at this point of time, he is not. He is not an accused in any any particular case at this point of time. This is not the same as Mr. Rajapaksa. There is still, of course, whether it is an it should be an international inquiry or whether it should be an internal inquiry. There are issues. But at this point of time, in fact, one of both the candidates' poll promises is that they would have an inquiry into what happened in the final stages of the war. So let's be very clear. He has not yet been exonerated. So that there two are entirely different issues, and I don't think we can compare Salman Khan campaigning for Prime Minister Modi with Salman Khan campaigning for President Rajapaksa. I'm sorry, they are not related at all. All right, Nagma, do you think that Salman Khan, as a, as a movie star, as a public figure, should have been a little more sensitive, considering that he has fans in different corners of the country? Um. Uh, look, you know, uh, while I uh, completely agree what Somanta said, I I, uh, I agree that they are two different things. But not everybody would understand the difference of, uh, you know, it completely. I think Salman has always, you know, listened to his heart more than listened to his head or reasoned out things. And if he felt right about, you know, helping a friend out, like I told you, this uh, co-actress of his happens to be in the latest movie that he uh, acted. And probably... If, uh, and she's I also Sri Lanka born. That, uh, Mr. Paksh Raj Paksha's son had asked her and uh, that's how he, uh, he went for the campaign. So I don't think he must have, you know, understood to the, uh, the political repercussions of what he's doing and uh, gotten to, uh, into that. So I guess that, uh, you know, uh, I'm not sure, uh, quite sure that he understands uh, what he's really uh, gone in for. Because he must have thought that, okay, he's come, he has been invited by the Prime Minister, so I think it should be okay and uh, 
you know it wouldn't have been so much of a problem because then it should be like a rule that you know uh, one shouldn't go and do this and then uh, you know one but everybody thinks differently Come everybody on, you, holds I'm a different view know, everybody he didn't know what happened in sri lanka yeah uh, no i i am not saying he didn't know but uh, but the fact that you know there are actors coming from that place and still working here there are film shootings happening there everything is normal mr rajpakshe is coming here and he is uh, attending the swearing in ceremony so not not everybody is going to think that uh, you know after that also there were a lot of uh, fishermen who were rescued and who were free so one thinks in what is going to happen in the future one thinks that i uh, having said that i am not siding him but i'm just saying that he wouldn't have perfectly understood the repercussions of what he was going in for and uh, personally probably he should have gone in later not at the time of the campaign of the election uh, you know for the campaign but uh, at the same time i think that everybody still does have a you know a, a right to hold their own view uh, to this and i think that we should also think about can the I, future can i also can i can i ask one question can i ask one question there. Yes, Mr. Ravan, go ahead. Can I ask just one question? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think the 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 person who was in the demonstration was actually making that point. Let's say tomorrow there was a Pakistani actress who was a friend of Salman Khan, and uh, let us say that uh, you know she invited him to campaign for let us say. No, no. Let's not draw unnecessary. Or, uh, no, let's not get into hypothetical let's situations, Mr. Ravan. No, no, no. I mean, uh, you yeah, said no, no, perfectly all right. I mean, legally, what is wrong with no, it? No, no. No, no, we're not talking about legality. Also, the Indian and Pakistani governments currently are not on talking terms. Channels of communications have been snapped. As far as Sri Lanka uh, is concerned, it's a friendly country. We're on good terms with so, them. So and I know they had invited him for his wedding right? ceremony. Even no, after no, that, he'd been invited. Ago, uh, when we were talking, was it all right? Sorry. Come on. I mean, two years ago, India and Pakistan were talking to each other. So at that point of time, you're saying it's fine if Salman Khan goes and campaigns for a candidate supported no, by. No, but ultimately, Pakistan. Sri Lanka is a friendly neighbor. I mean, neighbor. what are we talking about? You, ultimately, Sri Lanka is a friendly neighbor. So what if an individual artist decides to campaign for a friend in some other country? Let him go and let him go and act in a movie there. Let him go and uh, participate in an awards function there. Let him go and engage. Let him go and even receive an award given by the government of Sri Lanka. There are two different things. Your, when you campaign for an individual, you endorse his political philosophy. You are giving a certificate or vouching for the antecedents and all that has gone on in that man's uh, regime. All that right, all right, right. Mr. Raman, you made your point. And now, one last reaction. I'll take one last reaction from you. Probably, what Mr. Raman is saying that. Uh, individual to person to person contact there's nothing wrong with it salman khan could have gone and interacted with the industry there with the government but uh, as far as this one particular individual is concerned considering that there are such strong views back uh, in india he could have been a little be a little more careful probably yeah definitely certainly he should have been more careful and uh, for the very fact that if he hasn't spoken about the free seas and the and the nest wadia thing which is very much an industry issue then he should have stayed away from this as well but having said that i am not siding him but having said that i'm saying that yet there are not uh, you know every actor is not as politically well versed with uh, how delicate a situation is and how sensitive a situation is because i happen to have done so many movies in in tamil i have uh, my Brother in law who's a very big Tamil actor. I have my sister who's uh, in working in Tamil movies. So I'm quite I'm very well versed with the situation and probably a person like me wouldn't have done it. But I'm not as certain about how well is Salman still well versed with the situation, having known for a fact that Rajapaksha has been invited. So many fishermen have been uh, relieved after he was invited here. So whether the still uh, situation remains to be as tense as it was earlier. And having said that the fact that uh, you know so many uh, 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 so many uh, units are open to going and shooting there and all these things so uh, i am with sumanth on what he is saying i am am am, am ag agreeing to what he is saying but i'm just saying that not all the actors who work in the film industry are perfectly well versed with the political scenario and therefore he should have stayed away from this but nevertheless right. i'm not uh, right. very sure or very certain whether right. he understood the uh, repercussions of what he was getting into all right nagma and sumant uh, raman thanks so much for uh, joining us this evening for this uh, discussion two very important points coming nagma saying that not every actor is well versed with the political situation of the country mr raman also making a crucial point saying that individual person to person contacts there's nothing wrong with that but probably as far as sentiments are concerned on this particular story public figures uh, could be 
a little more sensitive. We'll continue tracking developments. Lots more lined up uh, on headlines today. Do stay with us.